Hello everyone, I'm Iron Phoenix and welcome to Minecraft. Uh, this is a little bit of a hey, it's New Year's Eve and meh, may as well do a video. I'm currently playing on a server and at this, this time I cannot remember for the life of me what the server is called. Um, no idea. Anyway, this is on the Direwolf pack, which means that the version of IC2 is quite old but it's stable so you know can't complain which means I don't have all the new toys to play with but I thought I'd just do this video a little bit of a whiz round of what my current place looks like I mean I've been playing this now for I don't know a couple of days and already I've done a big up upgrade today so that I'm not using any coal I've got a huge oil um, spout out there so um, I've got semi fluid generator and that's pumping out um, some EU. Enough EU. Um, I plan to change that for fuel soon, so that's going to be the next big upgrade um, to actually add fuel in as opposed to just using Buildcraft oil. Uh, which is something, I mean, this semi fluid generator is something that's been really, really needed in uh, industrial craft for quite some time, I think. The sort of uh, you know, everybody has build craft and everybody has industrial craft, but there's, although um, other mods kind of fill in the gaps between them, there's no real um, devices that either one have that use uh, each other's systems, which is very, very strange. Um, so the semi-fluid generator does that, it takes build craft oil and build craft fuel, as well as lava and so other, other semi-fluids and it makes EU which is kind of cool and then we've got a bat box up here and then we've just got all of our machines up here it's not a brilliant system I do want to upgrade it with an MFE and more power and a nuclear reactor because it's me um, so, but uh, for now this will do so I've got a metal former and I've got an ore washing plant making obviously purified crushed uranium ore um, then a little bit uh, other things I've got, I've got um, uh, Tinker's Contract um, stuff here, so I've got my hammer, my pickaxe, I've got like a shovel and some other bits and pieces as well. And this is, this is um, kind of cool, uh, so the Direwolf pack includes the latest version of Thermal Expansion. Now, I have been planning on doing a little bit of a, a mod showcase type thing, but I haven't because I haven't really played with it much in uh, either single player or multiplayer environment, I don't really know m enough about it to make um, a couple of, sort of good videos on it. Because um, obviously, the way I like to do things, I like to do um, a video that's sort of broken up into sections. Um, so there'll be several videos so that people can just go to the videos that they want to see. You know, the the, the thing that they're having trouble with, but this is kind of cool so the basic idea about thermal expansion is that it's got its own power system now so it's completely separate to buildcraft and what that means is that it's actually a better alternative to buildcraft because it includes um, lots of different sort of smelters and like a pulverizer that's that's its version of the macerator um, it's got much more uh, logical build craft, um, sorry, pipe systems. So um, it's much more like the red power way of doing things, where it will only pull from a chest if it's got somewhere to go, and it will fill in into chests. Um, so the first chest it, it will try and put into is the closest chest to it and then the next one and the next one and the next one unless you've specified it and all of these pipes I don't know if I can show you this yeah so if you add an, uh, an upgrade it's uh, the pneumatic pump thingy pneumatic valve or something you get this and so that you can um, change the redstone control you can add filters so that you could actually filter what's being pulled out as well as what's being pulled in, pushed in uh, if you've got that upgrade so I don't have it on that one so I can't show you that one but it's exactly the same as this um, 
So it's new power system, it's, they use dynamos, you got the steam dynamo, which is your basic one, there, and then the magmatic one, which is the one that runs on lava, if I shift you can see exactly what it, it requires a hot fluid, so lava, and this is the one I'm using at the moment, the compression dynamo, it's pretty cheap really, it's just a load of tin, um, and it just requires some kind of coolant, which I'm using water. I'm not sure if you can use anything else, but for now, coolant and fluid, flu a fluid fuel, which I'm using to build craft oil at the moment. But um, hopefully, I'll, I'll bump that up to build craft fuel. So it's quite um, it's quite a varied mod. Um, so that's just a quickie on that. I don't have many machines set up for that yet, but I'm going to add more as time goes on. Um, it also adds strong boxes, so you can actually pick these up, and only I can actually access that if I want to. I can. It's just a chest, and you can get more slots. It's just a quick one that I made for um, so that I could have restricted, which I will just add. So I can put things like diamonds or whatever in there that I don't necessarily want people to be able to access. So that's thermal expansion. Uh, we've got Bibblecraft, of course, so that I can store my books somewhere. We've got Thorncraft, Ask Magica. I haven't done much with either of them yet. That's so that's this is my Thorncraft and Ask Magica area up here. This is my airlock, it doesn't work properly yet, but this will be red we've got um Project Red on here, which is uh, Chicken Bones and I uh, can't remember the other guy's name, but uh, it's, a, it's a co mod um, which basically adds all the features of Red Power, uh, but it's completely new code. Um, they haven't reused any of LRAM's coding for it, and they haven't got frames or computers, which is a bit of a shame, really. I would quite like to see frames and computers coming to uh, Project Red if they want to do that, I mean, you know, a fourth was kind of cool to work with while everybody else was working with LUA, so, um, so yeah, this is the airlock, um, opens one side, closes the other, and I want to beef that up quite a lot, we've got QCraft on here, you can just see this, so if I look away, and I know I have to do this. So the state changes um, when you're not looking at it. So when you look at it, suddenly the state's going to change. This is kind of cool. And it's not a useless mod. I think there could be some quite fun uses for it. Um, but you have to be kind of inventive with it. It's one of those mods which the, um, the use for it isn't immediately clear. But you might find something that's, you know, kind of cool for it to be used with. So examples might be, um, I don't know, putting one in, in someone, hiding in an entire village, depending on which angle you're, you're looking at, having different um, materials for the village, that c could be kind of cool. Or even hiding it completely, because one of the states is just nothing. So if I look at it from here, the state's now changed, and so there's nothing there, which is really cool. And then if I look at it from this angle, it looks like glass. And if I look at it from this one, it looks like stone. So yeah, some kind of interesting mechanics that I think that could be kind of fun. It's quite a lot of dirt and stuff because I haven't put the glass in yet. So I've shown you that one. This is my Qcraft floor. Is it? No, this is my factorization floor, which um, I hope to delve into soon. Down here is my QCraft floor, this is my quantum, li yeah, quantum lab, and that is actually a block there. See? It's a wood block, honest. And now it's a jungle wood block, because, meh, yeah, it's kind of cool, that's a quantum computer. Um, oil storage, yeah. And then down here is just my sub pen, because, because the airlock doesn't work properly yet, I want to add in a way that people can get in uh, and I can get in reasonably easily so we've got the morph mod on here so I can turn into a squid which means I can breathe underwater um, so yeah and yet yeah, this entire place I will just show you is actually un completely underwater 
um, had to build each section down um, and then so it's down here so it's you know it's a good way below water without squid you might have a little bit of trouble getting into it um, so yeah this is this is my place uh, more IC2 stuff will be coming as people add things but I will say this now if you are having trouble with a specific mod maybe there's not enough documentation you don't think for a specific mod um, drop, so drop something in the comments below because I am looking for more mods um, to do video documentation about where there isn't a lot of documentation around for it beforehand. I might do a Q -crop, some Qcrop stuff actually once I know a little bit more about it and I might do something with thermal expansion related but then again there is quite a good wiki for thermal expansion so um, not completely sure. I kind of want to do things that other people haven't necessarily done much of. Uh, factorization might be a good one to do as well if people want to know a little bit more about factorization I could probably do something uh, with that because I hope to do more with it anyway. So. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.